Good afternoon, boys and girls. It's Miss Alfano here, and it is time to create our jellyfish. At this point, everybody should have their name on the corner of their paper and their teacher code. So make sure you have your teacher code next to or underneath your name. Now, now that we have it on there, go ahead and flip your paper over to the blank side and make sure your paper is up and down. In art, we call this portrait or vertical. If we were to be drawing this way today, this is called landscape or horizontal. But again, today we, are be, we will be drawing portrait. So that's like a long rectangle. So make sure it, it looks like that at your table. Okay. So if you remember, just like when we went over the steps earlier today, first we are going to be drawing with colored pencils. Then after colored pencils, we will be tracing with what? Yep, that's right, glue. Now something very important about our glue is that we have to take care of it because I have come to so many different tables in the past and they go, Miss Alfano, it's not working. And the number one issue is that everybody forgets to close the glue. Oh my goodness. So make sure today that when you're done, you do what? That's right, you twist the glue closed. You make sure it's closed. You can even test it to see if it doesn't squeeze out glue. That means it's closed. Okay. After we trace our jellyfish today with glue, then Miss Alfado is going to come to your table with some salt, shake it on there, and then any of that extra salt we have, we will shake it onto somebody else's paper, or we will just shake it into the trash can, so that way we keep our room nice and tidy. Okay. So, if you remember, we talked about main characters and focal points before we even got to this point. So today, just like in a book, the main character is the most important person or thing inside the story. So just like that, in artwork, we have main characters. So today, who is our main character? That's right, it is a jellyfish. This is also going to be the focal point. Everybody with me say focal point. Good job. So the focal point in art means that's where the art... Uh, the uh, viewer, rather, that's the people that are going to be looking at our artwork, like our neighbors, our friends at our table, our teachers, our parents, our family members, whoever's going to look at this artwork, their eye is going to be drawn to that, to that first part of the picture, which will be our jellyfish. Okay. So, on your paper, go ahead and make sure that you have your colored pencil next to you. Who draws first, me or you? That's right, Miss Alfaro. Okay, so today I want you to be drawing big. That's right, big. Because we want our jellyfish to be the main character of this artwork today. The first thing we need to do is we start on one side. And we're going to be drawing a big upside down letter U. This is going to be for the top of our jellyfish. So go ahead and do that now. Okay, once we have the top of our jellyfish, the way we're going to close it is with this line. What type of line am I drawing? That's right, a wavy line. So start from one corner, go all the way down, or across rather, and stop once you get to the other side of the jellyfish. Okay, next, I want you to do at least four but no more than six tentacles. Those are going to be the little lines that are going to be coming off the jellyfish's body. So there's different uh, shapes or lines that you could do. You could do straight lines, you could do wavy lines, you could do zigzag lines. I'm going to do a little bit of all of them. So we have one right here, one, go all the way down. Two, do a straight line this time. Three, I'm going to do a zigzag line. And four, one more wavy line. And remember, I said six, so I could do a couple more. So I'm going to do another wavy line right here and another straight line right here. Okay. Once you have drawn your lines, give me a thumbs up. Okay, next, we are going to be adding implied texture into our jellyfish's body. 
So implied texture means that's texture that we can't touch with our hands, but we can see it with our eyes. Implied texture is usually on paintings, photographs, and other works of art. After we add the salt today, we're going to be actually having real texture. So that means texture that we can actually touch with our fingers. Okay, those are going to be on sculptures or ceramics. Ceramics is usually clay. So now, on here, I want you to think of different lines. I want you to start with at least three, but no more than five. Okay, the reason I don't, I'm limiting it at five lines is because you're going to have to come back over and trace your glue, trace with glue, and if you do too many details, you're going to have a lot of difficulty tracing each of those. Okay, and again, just like how we did everything else big, I want you to draw big today. So, I'm going to draw some lines, but remember, you could do your own lines, you could do a pattern, you could repeat them, whatever works best for your artwork. We want to be thinkers today before we draw, because colored pencils do not erase very well. The first line I'm going to do is dashed line. Those are like lines we see in the street. The next line that I want to do is actually not a line, but a shape. I'm thinking about some hearts, but I'm drawing my hearts pretty big. Okay. Next, I'm going to come back and do some crisscross. Those are like the little crosses, and I can do some X's too. Okay. The last line I'm going to do is actually not a line either, but a dot, some dots. Now you could do lines, shapes, or patterns, but I want you to see how I already did four. One, two, three, four. Give me a thumbs up once you're ready. I'll give you some time. Okay, next, we're gonna be taking our glue, but before we do that, make sure it's closed, because what we're gonna need to do now is shake it. Shake, 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 do not squeeze, just shake it. We're trying to get all that glue loose so that way the glue at the bottom starts to go to the other side of the bottle. Okay. Once we've shaken it a couple times, now we can twist it open. But remember, when we're done, what do we have to do? That's right, twist it back closed. Okay, so now we have it open. So now what I'm gonna do is start tracing each line. I go a little fast, but you should take your time. I only go fast because I've done this lesson several times. I might even fast forward through this part so that way you all have enough time to trace all of yours. So keep doing what you need to do at your table. Once you're ready, go ahead and shake that glue. But, uh-oh, Miss Alfaro forgot to do something. That's right, put my colored pencil away in the cup when I'm not using it. Now that I'm done, uh-oh, what do I need to do so that way Miss Alfaro knows I'm ready? Oh, that's right. Close my glue. I can wipe off the glue on the paper. And then put this back into my supply basket. Maybe kind of even fix them. And there's a couple things you can do while you're waiting. You can raise your hand let me know. Miss Alfaro, I'm ready. But if I'm helping another class or another table, I mean... You can come back in the background, but just be careful while you do this, and you can draw seaweed, you could draw other little fishies using your colored pencils, and then when I'm ready to come to your table, I will come do salt on your table, but you need to have all materials put away. Okay. 
What I don't want you to do, though, is do not glue these details that you have in the background. The only thing you should be gluing today is your jellyfish. Okay? Now we get to do the fun part, which is pouring some of this salt onto the jellyfish itself. Okay, so today we have kosher salt. Okay, you can find this at HEB, Walmart, anywhere that they sell groceries, even at the Dollar General. And this coarse salt is very thick compared to the salt we usually see at a restaurant or even inside of our kitchen. Okay, so what my salt salt is going to do is shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it all over. Okay. And then what you will do is you will kind of move it around. Do you see how I'm folding the paper? I'm not closing it. I'm carefully just folding it. And then if somebody else had their artwork at your table and that they're ready, we could just put that salt onto theirs. Okay, let me shake it off. Shake, shake, shake. Okay, and now we are very careful. Now that I'm done, I can continue drawing in here, but we should not be eating this salt either. I forgot to mention that because this salt has been touched by different students. Sometimes I even scoop up the salt and put it back into this box. So it's not to be eaten. It's only to be used as an art material. Because do we eat paint in our class? No, we sure do not. Okay. So again, like you're waiting, what you can do is continue drawing some details in the background. And then next time we come, you can come back and paint those details. So I'm gonna add some bubbles too. Maybe if I do blue, with a circle and then I can come back with white to trace over it so I can see it a little bit better. When it's time to clean up, we're going to need to take all of these and put them on the drying rack. Now stay tuned, we will be painting next time you see this video. Thank you boys and girls and have a great day.